guys have saved our lives. We've been in the water all day since actually last night. And we didn't think help was coming until you guys came. And I thank you so much because I've got not just myself and my husband, but I've got Hummer and Taser as well. Tropical depression Harvey began to form in the Gulf of Mexico on August 19th. All weather models predicted Harvey would make landfall on the Texas coast as a Category 4 hurricane. On August 25th, Harvey made landfall as a Category 4 and would be considered the largest natural disaster to hit the state of Texas in more than 100 years. Rockport, Port Aransas, and Corpus Christi were hit hard by winds reaching speeds of 100 plus miles per hour. The hurricane also dropped more than 51 inches of rain on southeast Texas. The damage and devastation across the Texas coast cost thousands their homes and took the lives of more than 75 people. Houston, Port Arthur, Beaumont, and other Southeast Texas areas were hit hardest with floodwaters. On August 21st, the Texas Military Department activated 3,000 guardsmen in anticipation of the damage and flooding that would be caused. Uh, the, the, when this first started, our primary mission was search and rescue, uh, tremendous amount of assets coming into the theater uh, to do search and rescue. First thing we're gonna do is save lives. No, we're just gonna do it. It's the right thing to do. Uh, we're here to, for support, regardless of whether it's wartime, peacetime, or doing any type of evacuation issue. We're here to do that. I authorized uh, the deployment of all of the Texas National Guard uh, to address the challenges that Texans are facing all the way from Corpus Christi to Houston, Texas. More than 17,000 guardsmen were activated. Their mission? To conduct ground and air missions, evacuations, running supply distribution points, and evacuation shelters across Texas. The challenges are still so great. I mean, you're bringing in so many people, so many people want to help, and they're serving and happy to do it. How do you handle that logistically? Well, it, it's several ways, and, and again, this is, this is thousands of partners uh, every federal agency with FEMA, Department of Defense, uh, uh, every federal agency you can think of, every state agency, uh, and then all of the locals coming together. More than 5,000 guardsmen from across the country were also sent in to help the Texas Guard with hurricane response operations. Floodwaters ranged from three to five feet deep. Using aircraft, high water vehicles, and boats, Guardsmen helped rescue more than 16,000 people, evacuate more than 18,000, and shelter more than 26,000. We did, we did hoist operations with aircraft. At one point, we had 160 aircraft, rotary wing aircraft, 30 C-130 aircraft for evacuation. We evacuated the city of Galveston. 1,200 animals were also rescued, and more than 700 were sheltered. The National Guard worked hand-in-hand -hand with civilian first responders to ensure residents affected by Hurricane Harvey were taken care of. 29 Guard-supported distribution points were set up throughout the Gulf Coast. Guardsmen distributed 214,000 cases of clean drinking water, 215,000 bags of ice, 129 cases of food, and other essential supplies to more than 100,000 Texas families. We had to provide them evacuation capability, additional uh, uh, resources because they don't have water or food. We have pods giving them water, food, ice, uh, just to sustain them until the utilities and the infrastructure can come back. Even stranded livestock received aid. Food was airlifted in to animals that couldn't be evacuated. By the middle of September, Texas showed the world how cooperation between guardsmen from different states, first responders, and civilians face adversity. We have not denied a single request for support on the ground or a single request for support from the air. So yes, I'd say it's been a very successful operation. 
Texas now stands as a shining example of how people can overcome their differences and help out their fellow Texans. You guys saved our lives and thank you.